on the mound. A big time strike thrower, Brett. Here's the scouting report, and, and Connor feels like he's added a little bit of velocity, but also the stamina to maintain that deep into the course of a start or an afternoon. It's outstanding numbers. And that one poked in the right for a base hit and a good beginning for Eastern Illinois. Not going, and the payoff is over the inside corner for strike three. Very compact delivery. Emmy will run. Swing and a miss. The throw is a good one. And not in time to get Emmy. Three. I don't think he offered on that one, but a throw will go to third base. And Opitz will easily gun down Emmy, who should not have tried to advance with two outs. But could be a high draft pick and an outstanding arm in Wilk Line. Yeah, six foot five. Was about 225, a former catcher in high school. A year, or the last couple of years in relief. And he does walk Braden Webb to begin the bottom of the first inning. Like a double play ground ball right here. Well, that one thrown away. And Webb will round second and slam on the brakes as Kerrigan plays it back in. We're just underway here on opening day. That pitch locked up Franklin. Kerstad. Rolls one into left, see if he gets an RBI. Webb will turn third and score without a throw on the first run of the season for the Razorbacks. Comes on a Kerstad RBI single. Goodhart chops it up the middle. Sweeney has a chance for two, and that'll be an easy double play to end the first inning. Proportionately different and much stronger in his lower half. I think so. You're, you're exactly right. And see this changeup from Connor if he incorporates it. There's a wave and a miss. Opitz will have to complete the strikeout with a throw to first. That's four straight strikeouts now for Connor Nolan. In fact, his Juco team went all the way to Grand Junction for the World Series. So those are numbers that that was a swing. That's a strike. So Opitz tracked it down. Doyle wasn't running. And that's how Connor Nolan strikes out the side in the second inning. Like he was a middle infielder catching for Arkansas. Now he feels like a catcher catching. In New Mexico, lucky he had cell service. And uh, DVH called him. And there's a roller up the middle. Sweeney will make the play, and the ball is not caught. Ignafo could not hold on. Here in preseason practices. Strokes one to left center. Another base hit. Austin will turn and go to third base. Emmy will toss it into second base. Couple of two out singles by the Razorbacks. Early and Rolly at the beginning of the year. Switch hitter rolls one to Ignafo, and this will end the second inning the mound I mean and again a guy that was already big and put on about 15 pounds so one of those guys you wouldn't want to see in a dark alley how six strikeouts through eight batters strike you I'd like to see a few more runs Arkansas got their lone tally in the first he'll take a base runner here with one out as Christian Franklin it's about that that throwing motion more like a catcher than a pitcher and what a great battle right there by Will Klein it takes care of the the difference right there their strikeout number seven through three and two thirds innings for Connor Nolan. That's eight strikeouts through four scoreless innings for Connor Nolan. And reaching for that pitch and down on strikes to begin. Far in this game, Kerstead got the RBI hit in the first. Will Klein starting to load in. He's Retired five straight, couple of strikeouts this inning. The big that this team, this team and this program has just gone to another level. And talking about another level, Connor Nolan, he is on another level this year compared to last year. Nine strikeouts for Connor Nolan through four and a third innings, and he's used only 56 pitches. Being ahead a majority of the day, a couple of times he's been behind in the count. Another strikeout for Connor Nolan. That is number 10, and he has tied a career high. For I a think, long time. Yeah, I think that meant a lot to him and his dad that, and, and both his parents talking about six against Connor Nolan's 10. Good piece of hitting by Webb to poke one into right. Or at least with runners on. That's kind of the. High in the air, deep left field towards the hook pan. And Christian Franklin has homered on opening day. That fastball on the inside corner, you can see. TVH's <laughs> reaction back there. Franklin, he knew he got it all. I think it was a high towering home run. Almost cleared the seats out there in left field. Klein thought he had Webb struck out a couple of times before that single in the home run. 
High drive, deep right, and Kerstad is gone. Back to back with Franklin. Wu Pig, a couple of home runs in the fifth. Heston's talked a lot about top spinning balls and back spinning balls. I don't think he got under this one, but that's the strength where he could almost top spin a ball and still get it over the fence. The count in upper left portion of your screen is an amazing one at 65. Was that a swing? Yes, it was. Strikeout number 11 for Connor Nolan. He's ready to take it to the next level. He'd like a couple of base hits, although that is a swing, and that is a strike and an out to begin the sixth. That's some artwork, and that's ball four to Casey Opitz. The Ohio Valley Conference, and you can see why. And he's going to be replaced by Blake Cutza Jr., another big-bodied right-hander, 6'4", 225. Good lead over at first. Runner goes. Well, that's an interesting way to get on. Lifted to right. Kerrigan back. Looks like he has room, and the ballpark will hold it. Little flare towards center, and that will drop the second base hit for the Panthers. Sittings, given up just two singles, both to the same hitter. Roll it a short. Martin tries to come around that ball, and it's under his glove, and a run will score. But now Marshall Denton comes into the game, trying to get the final out in the seventh. Games and they had battled back, and Denton came in and slammed the door on them. This one's in the air to left center field. Two outfielders converge. Somebody's got to call it, and Webb made the catch. Because <laughs> it's just the explosion of the ball coming off the bat. Here he lifts one to left field. This is a long run for a topple into the corner. That ball's gone! Almost on cue, Kerstad flicks one down the left field line, and he has a two-homer game. Off the bat, you think, okay, that's a routine fly ball. Looks like a pop-up. He just wanted to know, is it going to be fair or foul? That's why he's watching it. And Topple, you, you think he's got a beat on it the whole way, and then he looks up, and he's like, clears the fence by five feet. I mean, that's exactly what we saw him do earlier this year. Up and out. Two-out walk to Goodhart following the home run. Opitz with a soft dribbler. The first to end the inning, so the red Connor Nolan. And that's what will happen from time to time with that Frisbee. Exaggerated <laughs> just a bit. And I said, well, he has a specialty, right? And Kerry going to go down on strikes? Or is it just something just off the cuff? It's a ball sent down the left field line, and that is in for a base hit. Old school stirrups working. Well, Franklin. Have his first play today. It ends the eighth. Nonetheless, it's, it'll be a talking point. That ball hit down the left field line. It'll short hop the fence. And Cole Austin going to have a leadoff double in the eighth inning. It was, it was perfect. Ribbon a miss. In the game becomes the third Razorback pitcher this afternoon. 18 team really needed. Set to the air to left center field. A long run for Webb, and he's going to make the catch. Yeah, that ball was hit really well. Webb <laughs> leaves his feet. It wasn't the prettiest of catches, but, hey, the result was uh, good. Outstanding performance. Martin made a two-out error in the seventh inning. Otherwise, you're working on a combined shutout. But there's a base hit from Pena, and he's just too good not to get on base some way, somehow. He, Her flights you know, baked into it, does it? Not many of those. Rip and a miss. Mackey strikes out. This should do it. Kerstad there waiting. And on a day he had a couple of home runs, he'll make the catch of the final out, and the Razorbacks win it 5-1 over Eastern Illinois.